we're continuing on with our 4140 rocket valve. If you caught our previous videos, we went into both ends of this part with a big old drill and we pre-drilled the hole for our beast end mill to get down into the bottom of that counter bore. And you can see this one, two, three block fits all the way down into that counter bore to give you an idea how deep we were going with this end mill. After we got the counter bores cleaned out, we went ahead and turned coolant on and drilled our hole to the final depth. And for all these holes in the face of the part, we came in with an inch and a half inserted drill. And again, we came into the first two holes dry, but we were throwing quite a few sparks. So if you're running a big drill deep, you're gonna wanna run coolant because it'll help you get the chips out of the bottom of the hole. Once we had our holes pre-drilled, we came back in with this giant end mill and we roughed out our counter bores and got our thread miners done. If you want to make your own shop more efficient, visit our online store where we sell this tool and other tools just like it that will help you up the productivity of your own machine shop. To finish off our roughing, we came in and did some rest roughing where we just got rid of the stuff that our 4 inch high feed mill couldn't reach. check it out yet, visit our free online academy where we go over how to make parts like this one in detail. Please like and subscribe, stay tuned because this part's only halfway done. We're gonna get into some crazy five axis milling on this part. Talk to you guys again soon.